Dr. Jacobs and Dr. Robinson uh, co were contacted by DRS Technologies at a meeting in Baltimore in the fall of 2011 about uh, participation of students in the infrared imaging competition. Our students used DRS Technologies infrared camera, which is a miniature camera, approximately one inch by one inch by one and a half inches, to um, image counterfeit and real money um, to determine if there was any discernible differences between the two that might be helpful for merchants, banking, and law enforcement in uh, determining whether or not a bill was counterfeit or not. Mr. Wyatt came up with the idea that we should use it to detect counterfeit. Um, I think it was originally for counterfeit art that was the first step of the project uh, and then we moved on to counterfeit bills because it would be smaller, be easier for us to work with and it'd be more practical. We created our setup and the way we did this was we had a, a device called a black body and the black body is a, a metal plate that you heat up and it emits a constant amount of heat. To begin with, we took a uh, basis with real money to see the key traits and the key features, the, the presidential watermark in the corner, the location of the security strip, and then the other watermark uh, were the key features of each bill above the $1 bill. $1 bill doesn't have any features. So then the Secret Service came in. He had three different types. He had bleached, he had inkjet, and circular. Bleaching a bill is a process where you take a, a small bill, like a $5 bill, um, you bleach it and then you print a higher denomination on it, like a 20 or a 50 or a 100. Um, the purpose of doing that is so that you have authentic paper, you have authentic U.S. currency paper. Um, there will be a, a, a security strip in it, so if you hold it up to the light, it'll look sort of legitimate unless you know what you're really looking for. And then with inkjet, it was just on a different type of paper using an inkjet printer, usually resume paper, and then circular, which is, imagine an old newspaper printing press, they would take 25% cotton fiber linen and paper and print straight onto this paper. So you have the same consistency as real money, but you do not have the same inner working security strip watermarks and so forth. Our premise was to take a counterfeit bill and a mask, which is, we use a manila folder, cut it out the size of the bill to prevent the infrared camera, if it sees hot and cold too close together and the focus is off, it'll focus on one thing over the other. And so we used middle folder to detract from that and make it to where the infrared camera would focus only on the bill. And so we ran them across the black body the same way we had for the other currency. And we would take snapshots throughout the video. And from there we could easily see the different features uh, that were present in legitimate currency and absent in uh, false in the fa counterfeit currency. We collected that data and wrote our report and sent it to DRS. So DRS hosted this competition and they had, I think, 13 different schools that all had multiple groups participating. Um, from each of those schools, one team won and they won a small prize. And then they selected from the winners uh, eight teams to fly out to Florida to compete. And that stage of the competition involved us uh, meeting the guys from DRS and then doing a, a short 10 to 15 minute presentation. Um, and then they went to final judging and picked a grand prize winner out of that. From our experiment and our conclusions, we determined that infrared is the best way to determine counterfeit currency. Uh, with visual light, there's plenty of things like uh, the watermarks of the resume paper and things like that that simply don't show up when you hold it up to a light. And they are, you know, plain as day, they're just shown very clearly in infrared. Um, additionally, it's just faster to see the uh, presidential watermark in the corner uh, or the security strip and things like that. It's very quick to determine it's legitimate. Or when you've got a $50 bill that doesn't have any markings on it in infrared, you can clearly tell that it's fake as well. So infrared was the clearest and fastest way to determine it just with the human eye. Yeah, I, I think we have a mission as the uh, to be dreamers, thinkers, and doers as they as they put on the signs around here. You know, to me, these guys really you know epitomized that fact. You know, they came up with an idea, and they and and from that point on, they they did what it needed to do, what they needed to do to go about making uh, an idea or something they dreamed about a reality. That's the way that, that I think education, what education is supposed to do for us, make us be able to go out and and the things that we learn in class don't just stop there. 
and they did that. They said, wouldn't it be cool if we could take this camera and, and next thing you know, they're winning some competition. For the university, it really means that I think that they're doing what's on the standard. The standard is to be a dreamer, thinking a doer. They dreamed of it, they thought of it, and then they actually did it and went out. So to me, that's, that's what the university is for.